Madagascar is home to a vast array of unique species of wildlife and plants, which through 165 million years of isolation are found nowhere else on Earth. Its lemurs are one of its best known endemics, of which there are an incredible 100 or more species and subspecies. Of these lemurs, the diademed shifaka is often considered the most beautiful. There are nine species of shifaka spread throughout most of the country, occupying different geographical zones. The diademed shifaka is the largest at more than a metre in body length and finds its home in lowland and moderate altitude forests of eastern Madagascar. Here, consistent trade winds from the Indian Ocean maintain tropical moist rainforests. The species is critically endangered, with an estimated 6,000 to 10,000 surviving in the wild. Slash and burn agriculture and forest cutting for fuel are its biggest threats. It is also sometimes ensnared for bushes. Diademed shavakas are herbivores feeding on a combination of leaves, fruits, seeds and flowers. They live in groups usually of between 2 and 10 individuals, with adult females giving birth to a single offspring. The young are weaned after about 6 months and reach maturity at 2 years. Life expectancy is up to 20 years. In 2015, Aquafirma helped the Rainforest Trust and local conservation charity Madagascara Voikaj to establish a new 76,000 acre rainforest reserve. Here, diademed shafakas share some stunning forest-covered hills and valleys with Madagascar's largest surviving lemur, the Indri. It also shares the area with Madagascar's most endangered golden animal, the golden mantella frog. This was once thought to be extinct, but rediscovered here in large numbers. We are sometimes surrounded by literally hundreds of these frogs, a strange experience for something which occupies such a tiny dot on the surface of our planet. The fringes of this reserve are also shared with rural Malagasy communities who Roy Kaj have done so well to engage with a vision of sustainable agriculture and ecotourism, arresting Madagascar's huge problem of slash and burn farming. These teenagers are an inspiration to the project, here singing their vision of a sustainable future. Whilst the tourism we bring helps to replace charcoal as a cash income, we've also been funding habitat regeneration for Diadem Shafakas and all the inhabitants of this forest, targeting clear areas like the one in the distance there. So far we have funded the planting of 4,000 native trees right next to places where we've already seen Diadem Shafakas, Indri, brown lemurs, chameleons and more. WWF has funded a further 2,600 trees. In October 2021, you can join us in search of diademed shafakas, golden mantellas, indri, fossa and more when we bring a mobile safari camp into this remote, beautiful area. Oh, <laughs>